Hey guys, welcome back to Kali J's Kitchen. Today I'll take you back in the kitchen with me and I'll show you how I prepared my stew beef with spinners. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment and tell a friend to tell another friend about Kali J's Kitchen. You can also follow me on Facebook, it's Kali J's Kitchen. Follow me on Instagram, it's Kali Kitchen underscore one. And go ahead and turn on that post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. So basically I start preparing all the items for my stew beef already. Then last minute I decided, listen, I'm going to make a whole video for you guys. I am not just going to prepare this like, you know, I want you guys to see how I prepared my stew beef. So I went ahead and seasoned my beef with all of the natural seasoning and also with some powdered seasoning. And I used some browning on my beef and also some soya sauce, alright? And I decided that I'm going to go ahead and pressure this. So you want to pressure your beef for roughly about 20 to 25 minutes or until soft. You don't want it to be too soft also because remember you're going to cook this down with other items, alright? So I'm going to go ahead and add some water to my beef and I'm basically adding some warm water in the same bowl that I seasoned my beef in. I went ahead and add some warm water and pour it over my beef and guys just in case you know sometimes the beef might need a little bit more water because you want to ensure that it is covered all right just not a, not fully covered but you want to ensure that the enough water is in the pressure cooker all right so i'm gonna pressure this for as i said 20 to 25 minutes then i'm gonna come back and show you guys what it looks like all right So after 20 to 25 minutes, this is what my beef looks like. So as I said before, I'm not going to use any carrot nor any of the other items that they normally use in the beef. This one is a little bit different. I'm going to use spinners in there instead of the carrot and the potato. All right. Or the broad bean all right and if you have not tried it with the spinners guys you need to try it you're missing out on something it tastes so good so what i did while the beef was pressuring i went ahead and make up the dough for my to put in my stew beef and i used basically about one cup of flour and that is counter flour that i'm using all right So now I'm going to go in and add some more scallion, some more thyme, some scotch bonnet pepper. I will also go in and add my sweet pepper. And of course I have my onion, alright? And just in case you guys want to go in and add the broad bean, you can always do that with the spinners, alright? And I will also go ahead and add some ketchup the reason for adding the ketchup to the beef is that you know you want your gravy to be a little bit thick and nice and the ketchup contribute to that thickness that you're looking for all right so combine everything together and just allow this to just cook down until you get that nice thick gravy and just in case you guys want to just go ahead and add some more salt or or you want to add some more all-purpose seasoning for taste because you know sometimes it might need a little bit more pep up so you guys can always go ahead and taste and then you will see what it wants so once it's finished I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like all right Alright guys, so this is what my stew beef with spinners looks like already. So I'm going to serve this up with some ripe plantain and some white rice and show you guys the final product. Alright guys, so this is the final product of my stew beef with 
spinners i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and i hope you guys try out this recipe at home remember to turn on your post notification bell remember to subscribe to my channel remember to share and remember to tell a friend to tell another friend about kali j's kitchen thank you guys so much for watching and see you tomorrow for another awesome recipe bye